Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers and subscribers at the channel, we are a group of law abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because it saves lives. Yes, we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel is all about saving life and that's our main priority here. Yes, we are not beholden to any political party parties in Jamaica or anywhere, but we support the party or government who is willing to make Jamaican people's lives better, especially when it comes on to security. We would like to see the culture of the people change, you know, by um, instilling these youths ethics, moral, decency, truthfulness, and to get rid of all the muck and this culture erosion that has been taken over and infiltrate our people's mind in Jamaica. You understand? So, you know, that's what we're all about here reading, and these youths need to read more. So, you know, we are all about saving lives here at the channel, at the Jamaica Young Police Channel. But some lives are not worth saving. They have lived a parasitic life and were not contributing citizens to the society. Hence, we'd like to find a way to get rid of them by any means necessary. The Jamaica Young Police Channel is not for criminal supporters, enablers, financiers, beneficiaries, sympathizers, excuse specialists and head hunters in criminal underworld. At the channel, we, at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we aid criminals yes. with a passion. Well, well, yes, well, well, especially well, the criminal police yes, officers. I have never seen coming, yes. And, you know, to be frank, after the share it with you, you know, my loyal viewers and subscribers, and those who think that, you know, sometimes some people who are pretending to be something that they are not when they are the other, you know, we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we love informer. Yes, because we say informer if you live and gunmen must dead, even at them sleep. But you won't believe who is England's giant rat, snitch, corn, informer, who helps send many men to English workhouse. Yes, man, a lot of you, you're gonna be, you're gonna be shocked. So we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel love informers. As you know, we have the slogan, Informer must live and gunman must and gunmen must dead even their sleep. Most people in Brixton, England, who are our friends with Wayne Uglesom and used to visit his tutor in Brixton, did not know that the man was a paid snitch, grass, narc, informer. For the Metropolitan Police. Yes, man. The man was a big paid informer. The man was a rat in a England. The same man who a beat Jamaican police. It's not Jamaican police he wants to beat now. It's the, it's the British police. It's the police them. Yeah, the Metropolitan Police because they work him like a dog, you know, man. Because them have. It's when them have things hanging over your head. And you have to work for them, you know. Or else you understand. Yeah, so we we'll continue the journey, and before we go any further, we have all of the evidence. When he's talking about file, we have more than his file when it come on to that. So we're not talk about. You understand what I'm saying? But you guys will be able to access it before the month ends. We just are telling that because we're not here. Yeah, this this information is so what do I call it top secret. That we cannot just put it out on YouTube. We have to make certain set at a certain place where you understand what I'm saying. That's all we have to do. So you're going to hear it. Yeah, the man was a big narc. Yeah, man, the man a big, a big, big rat in England. Yeah, man, in a, he's over there. So, do you know how many people who knew him went to prison because of his work? <laughs> Why? Now, the hatred that he is spewing towards the Jamaica Young Police is not the Jamaican police, it is really towards the hatred is toward the Metropolitan Police because they had him by the balls. He was a very effective informer to the police, to the Metropolitan Police in England. And his reason for relocating to Canada was to save his life because he was a target by a famous criminal in England. 
who blame him for his work with the cops. We at the Jamaica Young Police Channel do not know if he's still working with the police and pretending that he's a law abiding citizen when he used to lock hide guns for the late Tony Brown and John Flash at Oliver Road in Rockford. So this man in life start out as a criminal. This man used to lock gun. This yes, this is coming from Tony Brown's family at Warwick Hill. Tony Brown's family from Warwick Hill who used to live upon the hill. Yes, this man used a lock gun for them. You understand? And the man was a big narc in grass, you understand, in uh, England. Can you believe, man, this man who, so he might try to rehabilitate himself in the criminal underworld when this man is the most dangerous man in At least we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we say we love informer because right through our life we have been a law abiding citizen. We don't pretend, you understand? We don't have nobody who's involved in drugs one way and them thing there. So we don't have to worry about nobody number. But whoever is involved in criminality and him have them number, you don't know the police have yours because the man is a big time informer, paid informer from England. That's why I'm going to Jamaica, you know? Because the man is a political asylum here in England. Yes, <laughs> why may I tell you? Hey, you never see smoke without fire. Yeah. You understand? He cannot go, uh, we in Uglesome cannot go back to Jamaica because he is a marked man by criminals. Political asylum is trying to put us in the same boat as him. For those of you who are his friends and involved in criminality, you should change your life or it is a matter of time before the long arms of the law catches up with you. Because this man, every number that he has, the police have access to it and look most of his friends who have gone to prison you notice who do not go to prison yes all of you who, who are his friends who have been to prison you notice who do not who haven't been to prison look at that nobody can involve it people involved in a court dealing and thing and don't end up in prison everybody else you got a prison except you on the info on the prison Yes, because when you work with the police, you give the police them big people and them thing and you as the little foot, you know, claim say you're a foot soldier, but you're part of the, you're part of the hierarchy. So you're infam. And that's what he was doing. Big infarmer. Yeah. So, you know, so, you know, snitch, meaning infarmer, is more closely related to the original definition than it appears. Back in the 18th century, nose was used in the UK to describe an informer, possibly because said informer went sniffing around for his master. The 1990s English police advertisement called Rat. So that's why we say he's a rat, you know. Just listen, the 1990s English police advertisement called Rat was a public awareness campaign encouraging people to report drug dealing in their communities. The advertisement featured a rat crawling through a dirty alley, alleyway with the tagline, if you see something, say something. The campaign successfully raised awareness of the issue of drug dealing and encouraged people to report to the police. Rats are everywhere. Some of Wayne ugly some friends did not know that he was the biggest rat in Brixton, England and was on the payroll of the Metropolitan Police. They are dirty, they are dangerous, and they spread disease. But there is one kind of rat that's even the worst drug dealers. Drug dealers bring crimes, violence, and fear to our community. They destroy lives and family, and they are not going to stop on their own. That's why we need your help. If you see something, say something. Report drugs dealing to the police. You could save a life. Don't be a rat. Be a hero. So that's why I'm saying that's why ugly some say my ear, you know, because he's a rat. But we love we love in farmer. But don't pretend like you is an anti-police activist when you are the biggest in farmer, you work with the police. That go against the grill. Be yourself. You're an in farmer. And stop pretending like say boy, oh, man, man I like police and this and that. Because you understand. We know that we, yeah, it, it, oh, it's, oh no, you're our biggest informer. So, all of them people that who have been to prison in England and used to talk to you, 
I hope you explain to them how them get to bite them and them things because you are the rat. Yes, you understand. We don't spread propaganda over here, you know, we just say it as it is. You know, you understand. So that's why, so the police them said that's why we need your help. If you see something, say something. Report drug dealing to the police, it could save a life. Don't be a rat, be a hero. So, when I call him not here, he's a rat. Yeah, Britain's most giant rat. Snitch, corn, informer who helps send many men to English workhouse. That are we and ugly. So, yeah, biggest rat, biggest rat from Jamaica. The Metropolitan Police Service in London created the advertisement which aired in 1995. The campaign was so successful that it was adopted by the police forces across the UK. The rat advertisement was one of the first public awareness campaigns to use the term rat positively. In the past, the term rat was often used to describe someone dis disloyal and untrustworthy. If you have your friend and them things, say you are them friend and you are rat. They, you don't have loyalty, but you pretend like say you are some big type, you are big informer. However, the rat campaign turned the meaning of the word on its end, encouraging people to be, a, to be rats by reporting drug dealing to the police. The rat campaign was successful because it was simple, effective and memorable. The advertisement used a powerful image of a rat to represent the danger of drug dealing and it used a catchy tagline to encourage people to report drug dealing to the police. The campaign also benefited from the fact that it was backed by the Metropolitan Police Service you know, in which Oglesom, the big rat, he was on the payroll. Yes, you understand? Boy, I may tell you. You know, so the campaign benefited from the fact that it was backed by the Metropolitan Police Service, which was one of the most respected police forces in the world. The RAD campaign is an excellent example of how public awareness campaign can be used to change people's attitude and behavior. The campaign successfully raised awareness of the issue of drug dealing and encouraged people to report to the police. As a result of the campaign, help to make communities safer. In Brixton, Grass, that was an actual name when I'm used, in a code name for Uglesom, Grass is more com commonly used than Narc. This is likely because Brixton has a long history of gang violence and the police have relied on informants to help investigate and prosecute gang, gang members. As a result, the term Grass has become more associated with Brixton than any other parts of England. So that's why they give him the moniker of Grass, you understand? It is important to note that grass and narc are not always used positively. In some cases, they can be used as insult or derogatory terms. However, they are also used more neutrally to describe someone who provides information to the police. Yes, um, we in Uglesom, the grass, <laughs> boy, may I tell you. So here are some additional details about the use of the terms in England. The term grass is more likely to use in informal settings, such as among friends or family. The term narc is more likely to be used in formal settings, such as in media or legal documents. Both terms can be used to describe someone who provides information to the police about a crime, but they can also be used to describe someone who provides information about anything else such as someone's personal life or business dealing. Using the terms can be controversial, as some people believe it. It is wrong to encourage people to inform on others. However, the police argue that informants are essential to their work and help the community safe. And that's why we tell ugly some so we love informer. You understand? So we don't know him a try to pretend like say you understand that and I'm rolling when him there England. And still is. There are several reasons why someone might might try to rehabilitate their criminal credential after sending some of their friends to prison. So this, this is the reason why I see my behave like that, you know, over there, you know, like, oh, him eight police and so I'm guilt, a guiltiness I kill him, you know, the guilt, yes, the guilt. So we in ugly some may feel guilty about sending some of his friends to prison and want to make amends. So I'm living a fear. He may be afraid of being targeted by a criminal underworld and they may believe that rehabilitation is the only way to protect himself. Opportunity. 
He may see the re rehabilitation as an opportunity to get fresh start in life and believe it is the only way to get a good job and build a stable future. So that's why I'm not pretending now, like, say, oh, I'm not, I'm not like police and this and that. When in that England, in my biggest rat over there and snark and grass in a Brixton, I'm Studa. You understand? Ask all men like all burger and all them men. Burger, yeah. So we know you are going to further on them things. Like big informer. Opportunity. He may see rehabilitation and opportunity to start fresh. And then believe, say, yeah, by doing this thing, everybody has a boy. And you know, say, boy, mama, I look him on, you know, and I get bite and all them things, and one and two little things. And, you know, he must say, boy, he see some hope now. So he may hope that rehabilitation would help him to overcome his criminal past and become a productive member of society. He may not try to do that and them things. It is important to note that not everyone who tries to re rehabilitate their criminal credentials is successful. Some people may find it difficult to change their old ways and may relapse into unlawful activity. And that, up to now, the man do not show that he's a law abiding citizen. You know? like I hate police. People who love the police don't bash the police. You understand? Unless it's necessary, like people like me, because I was a cop. He has never been a cop. The closest is closest. Ugly some come to be a cop is that he was a rat in England, big time rat. He can't travel nowhere in a cause he's a political asylum. He cannot go anywhere. He can't go to Jamaica nowhere. Like how we at the Jamaica Young Police Center, we can travel all over the world. Yes, you understand? Some, yeah, so you know, so here are some, some things that someone can do to re rehabilitate their criminal credential. Admit, admit their guilt. The first step is to admit that they have a problem. They need to be honest with themselves and others about their criminal past. Now sir, ugly some, then the man that can't tell the truth man, then the man that lie spitting him out when he's born. Yeah. Please seek professional help. They may need professional help from a therapist or a counselor. This can help them to understand their criminal behavior and develop coping mechanisms for dealing with stress and temptation. Wayne Oglesome can make amends. Yeah, he should try to make amends to the people he may have harmed. This may involve apologizing, returning stolen property, or paying restitution, or even the people them, you know, where, they, yeah, when he was a rat and them thing, and, you know, people them fees him and them a friend, when I, him, I, you know, I, I look for people mouth in the bubble, yeah, in the bubble of England. And I tell the police the way person I say I be an interpreter. You understand? Enough people in cell prison. Please get involved in their community. They should get involved and make positive contribution. This may include volunteering, getting a job, or returning to school. Please stay away from crime. They need to avoid crime and people involved in it. This may mean changing their lifestyle and their friends. Rehabilitation is not easy but possible with hard work and dedication some people can overcome their criminal past and build a better future yeah so you know we have always said that we still we do believe in a redemption you understand we believe in a redemption and ugly some yeah you know we still believe so you still can redeem yourself you know yeah you understand but one of his reasoning you know, um up to now, he hasn't told people you know, his reason to relocate from England to Canada. He don't tell people that, you know. Normally people, remember, you know, in, in, in terms of when it come on to certain things, um, the social issue, when it come on to social, socialism, England, you know, have the biggest socialism in the world, you know. But because, you know, everything that we are telling you, right here and now. It's based on information received and obtained and we have the evidence to back it up. And we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel is going to let you, the loyal viewers and subscribers, hear it that this man, Wayne Oglesom, was a rat in England. No if, no buts are joke. We don't make up things over here. Everything that we are telling you is the truth. Have yourself a nice day. Jamaica Young Police Channel, out.